have Alan on the phone, but I'll go ahead and make the um, report for him. Alan? Yep. Oh, you're there. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> so, Glad you weren't talking about <laughs> So, Alan, I said I'll make the report for you since you are on speakerphone, but um, as you can see through the ind existing industry and project report, we've been extremely busy and in keeping up with things, but we've been doing a good job working with some of our existing industries on possible expansions and business operation expansions for them. So we've got three of those that are hopefully going to take place in um, second and third quarter. Um, we've also continued working with a Fortune 500 pharmaceutical company on a customer care center project here for Valdosta and our region, and that's coming along quite nicely. So we should be able to um, work through some final information there. We continue to work with three um, renewable and sustainable energy companies, as you can see, and those are looking very positive. We've worked through a lot of the due diligence um, with Georgia Power and things are looking favorable. One of the things that has come out of this, which is positive note, is we did receive notification that um, two of those advanced solar initiatives have been approved um, by Georgia Power Company. It was a Georgia Pay Solar Company, and it would be with one of our existing industries at DuPont. Um, so they partnered with an existing solar company and took to do this megawatt um, expansion. And then also, um, there is a project with the city of Valdosta at the um, Mud Creek Wastewater Treatment Facility that would be eligible for this as well. So that's two good things that have come out of that from a solar perspective. Um, as we talked about with the Logistics Summit, um, we were able to take some logistics distribution company leadership up to that program. And that's really nice just because it gets them in front of our partners at the Georgia um, Centers of Innovation for Logistics. And all they do is focus on import and export and freight that is just being moved throughout the state of Georgia and in and out of the Port of Savannah and Brunswick. Um, and then also how it affects the surrounding states. So they were able to learn about that network and also network with them, colleagues within their industry and hopefully make further business relations. So that actually came about through our community business and industry partnership that we have with the Chamber of Commerce. So we worked with them um, in conjunction on this. Um, we also have an existing industry that we're working with on expansion opportunity that's coming along nicely we continue to work with them. Um, we have an alternative fuel company that we're working with, so that's coming along nicely as well. Um, and I'd just like to mention, because of the, you know, we talk a lot about networking with our state project managers and that's inclusive of the Georgia Department of Economic Development, Georgia Power, ECG, as well as Georgia EMC, those project managers and the railroads. And we network a lot with those individuals. And the reason that we do that is so that we can continue to get RFIs, requests for information, to keep ourselves constantly in the game. And so we continue to be submitted for RFIs. So as you can see, we did three of those um, this week. And several of those came out of, one, a presentation that we did in Atlanta and the fact that we also had them down here for the bus tour, we got a call the next day on what we could do for that. So getting them down here and then going up there and staying in front of them is critical for us to continue to stay in the game. Um, we've worked with some international companies as well through the Department of Economic Development and helping grow some of our existing industries. So when we work with these international companies, we're trying to build relationships between our existing industries so that we can increase their exporting to their countries. So that's what we're trying to facilitate and increase those opportunities for them. Um, we have also started working, this is a project that is moving along quite, um, quite quickly and we are in competition with one other location. It is for a logistics distribution facility for produce. Um, they're currently looking at West Side Business Park and we're one of two sites, the only one in Georgia, another one being in Florida. We continue to work that hard. We have introduced them to the Department of Economic Development, as well as our South Regional Commission and um, a Department of Community Affairs for any additional funding that might be available. So a very active um, existing industry and project management report. Um, and then you can see our acreage 
here as an update. That concludes the report, Julie. Thank you. Um, Mr. Wickett, is there anything you'd like to say or add? Mr. Chairman, that concludes my report. Thanks. All right. Thank you. You guys have been very active, and we're hoping that dividends will be paid in the short term. That's what I keep hearing. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Flyer.